all right guys so i am getting ready to go to the at home store um i'm gonna check target too but i'm trying to find a mirror to go above the dresser area where i'm making the baby's um little changing station space so i want to find like a round mirror to go there and then I have a few other things that I need to pick up and a few other stops that I need to make, but that is my mission for today. And yeah, I thought I would bring you guys along with me. Also, yesterday the baby's changing pad arrived. So I'll share that with you guys when I get back. Um, and then I'll just show you kind of like the little area, how I got it set up for now and that's it so yeah let's go ahead and get going and see what we can find all right so i am back home now and i wanted to share with you all the uh diaper changing little pad that i got for the baby and so i decided to go with the hatch i had two in mind that i wanted to go with uh the other one that i was looking at was the kiki rue one i think that's what it's called um, but i ended up going with this one because it also comes with a scale and so I thought that was a nice little feature to have um, and you just sync it to your smartphone. So this is the one that I ended up going with. So here is the changing pad. It is wipeable and it is very nice and like soft, not hard. So if you worry about that, I didn't put the little straps on yet. I'll just put those to the side for now. Um, what I may end up doing is putting this actually back in plastic um until it's closer to him getting here just so it doesn't collect dust or anything like that um but yeah yeah i really think we're going to enjoy this changing pad and here is the mirror that i grabbed from target ended up not even going to um at home store because i found this at target i love that it's an oval shape and so i am going to get this hung here on the wall just thought that would be a nice little added touch to the wall here um just so it's not so plain i thought about doing like a picture but i think a mirror would be um nicer here so yeah i'm glad i was able to find this mirror and i think it's going to look really really nice in this space so got that off the list um then over here i just have his diapers this little bin is from target and, and then here is his white warmer this was actually a gift from one of you guys so thank you so much for this we will definitely be using it um i did use a white warmer with sefton as well they aren't necessary um but i just like using them um and sefton really enjoyed it so and then these things I showed you guys in my last vlog. Did go ahead and start putting some of his things in the drawer. Um, I still have to wash everything, but I did go ahead and get all of the tags and things like that removed. And so I'll wash up everything and um, still need to get some organizers. I need to measure these drawers first um, to see exactly what size I need to get. But yeah, I just put his little onesies, his hats, some bibs. There's some more stuff back there, like uh, three to six months, um, more like fall type stuff back there. Um, but these are all like newborn and zero to three months. Yeah, I just went ahead and started to put some things in the drawers for him. So yeah, guys, that's just a quick little glimpse at what we got going here so far. Everything is starting to come together. Um, his bassinet will be on the side of my bed. We are getting a glider as well that will go in the corner. And then um, that's pretty much it. So the glider and the bassinet are really the only things that it's missing from this room um, and we'll be getting that stuff here soon. And so I love how everything is just coming together and I'm getting more and more excited to have my baby here. And I was just talking to my mom and we were kind of like finalizing things with the baby shower. So we're all excited for that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and 
eat now because it's lunchtime and I need to eat. And then I'll check back in with you guys either later um, this afternoon if I go back out or tomorrow. So yeah, that's it. All right, everyone. So it is the next day. Um, Sefton's doing a swim camp at his swim school. So we're headed there now. Um, I also need to go to the grocery store. So we're gonna stop at Whole Foods. Um, I have definitely been craving watermelon, oddly enough, this pregnancy. I am not a watermelon lover at all. I love watermelon flavored things, but I don't like the texture of watermelon, um, if that makes sense. And so I don't know what's going on, but this baby loves watermelons. So I found this recipe on Pinterest that I'm gonna try. It's arugula, watermelon, feta cheese, and a balsamic vinaigrette. And I don't know why, but that sounds so good to me. It's so refreshing right now. So we're gonna go and grab a few things from the grocery store and grab some stuff for me to make that. Um, good thing is Sefton loves watermelon too. So um, if I don't eat it all, he'll eat, he'll eat whatever is left. So yeah, that is what is on the agenda for today. So we're gonna head to swim class. So we are just finishing up our errands and luckily we are done because it just started raining. So we are gonna head home now and then I'll show you guys how I put the little watermelon arugula salad together, so. All right guys, gonna do a quick little grocery haul. So I got some mint for the arugula watermelon salad. Got some baby arugula. Um, I ended up just going with a cut watermelon so we don't waste it. Sefton wanted a mango, so I got one of those. I got some balsamic vinegar for the salad. Got some brown butter chocolate chip cookies. Thank you to the person that told me to get the brown butter instead of the regular ones. These are amazing, so good, so just so good. Also got some organic cherries. They look so good, I cannot wait. Got some waffles for Sefton. Got some strawberries. Sefton is on a raspberry kick, so I got him a large carton of raspberries. We got some feta cheese for the salad, some vegetable fried rice, sweet corn on a cob, salmon, chicken, and brown eggs. So that's our little mini grocery haul. Now I'm gonna get this stuff put up and then I'll start working on the salad. All right, guys, so I got everything out that I need. Um, lemon, watermelon, I got my bowl that I'm gonna use, feta cheese, mint leaves, and arugula. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off first. Also got some olive oil. And this is the fruit and vegetable wash that I use. Um, someone had mentioned in my comments that I should rinse it off. I do. <laughs> I just didn't share it on camera, but I do read instructions very well. And yes, you just leave it on for one minute and then you rinse your fruits and vegetables off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to add the mint. And then I'm going to add three tablespoons of olive oil. Sorry about that. My memory card was full. All right. So I've added one 
tablespoon two and three And then squeeze some lemon juice. Now I'm gonna cut up my watermelon. Alright, so I'm not going to use all of this watermelon. I'm just going to put some of it away. So now we're going to add the feta now that we've got our watermelon in. I'm just going to eyeball this part. And we're going to add the arugula that has been washed and rinsed. I'm going to add some um, Himalayan pink salt and we're going to drizzle it with some balsamic all right so here it is in the bowl I'm going to go ahead and mix it up now Now I'm going to squeeze a little bit more lemon juice. Alright guys, here is my watermelon arugula salad. Let's go ahead and do a little taste test. It smells really good. Oh my goodness. It tastes so good. This is like the perfect summer salad. Like it's so refreshing. So good.